Hey, 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 YouTube fam. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I pray that each of you are having a blessed and safe day. All is well with you. Everything is going great. And even if it's not, you're on the side of my voice. Guess what? You done made it to a brand new day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. You done made it. And that right there is a miracle and blessed within itself. All right. If this is your first time tuning into my YouTube channel, my name is Candice e. Brown. I'm a certified life coach. I'm a motivational speaker. I'm also an author as well as a podcaster. I'm also a mother of two beautiful and wonderful children. And what I do, I do self-love, self-confidence coaching for women, helping them take their mindset babies to raise to riches, from raise to riches. So, ladies, if you're interested in taking your mindset to the next level, becoming a queen, okay, because every woman is a queen, don't hesitate to hit up my website at www.mindsetchange21.com or shoot me an email contact at mindsetchange21.com okay because let me tell you every woman a queen i don't care who you are i don't care what color your skin is it don't matter about your past it don't matter about your current circumstances situations it don't matter about your profession you are a queen okay and i need all my beautiful and wonderful ladies to fix your crowns okay fix your crown sis it's okay it get a little crooked sometimes that's all right fix it okay and some of my ladies my sisters y'all ain't even picked up your crown what y'all waiting on what you waiting on okay you waiting on next month waiting on next year waiting on to get it right Quit waiting. Don't wait. Don't waste no more time. Pick up that crown at your feet. Put it on your head. And walk like the fearless, bold queen that you were born to be. All right? All right. So, I just want to come on here real quick and share something with y'all this morning. Um, I was getting my breakfast ready, doing my daily routine, getting ready to go run some errands and stuff. And y'all, I mean, the power of sisterhood. Okay? When you, when God puts you around some great women, some great people, y'all, it ain't, it ain't nothing like it. It ain't, it ain't nothing, it ain't nothing like it. Sorry about that, y'all's call. It ain't nothing like it. You understand what I'm saying? It ain't nothing like a powerful sisterhood. You understand what I'm saying? So I was talking to one of my divine sisters and she, when we was talking, it's like God dropped something down in my spirit and man, I hate them. I made a post about it. But, baby, I had to get on this YouTube video, and I had to share it. Let me tell y'all something. We was talking about something, and I said, you know how you always been that person that they pick last? You was the last pick on the team ever since a child. Nobody wanted you on their team because they might have felt like you weren't good enough. You was too slow. You were too big to do this. Um... Oh, you can't be, you can't hang with us because you don't look a certain kind of way. You ain't skinny enough. Uh, oh, no, you can't be with us because your clothes, you know, nobody, you know, have, have y'all been there? I done been there as a child, y'all. Come on, somebody. Somebody need to hear this today. And it's like they always picked you last. But I heard the spirit of the Lord tell me today. And y'all know I'm going with this. Y'all say it with me. God said, the last shall be first. And the first shall be last. Okay? I'm going to say that again. God said that the last shall be first. And the first shall be last. When he's put that down in my spirit, y'all, I took off running. Because I know all my life I have been last picked. All my life I done been somebody rebound woman. All my life I done been somebody last resort when I done put out and pulled out so much into them. But I was always the last person they want to come to with. So they don't with the Tom, Dick, Harry, John, and all the way around, baby. But I be the last person they come to. The very last person to find somebody. Everybody in the neighborhood talking about it. Oh, yeah, he he been doing that. And you always the last person finding somebody. But God say the last, the very last person. If you've been last all your life, get ready. Get ready because it's finna turn around for you. It's about to turn around and you finna be first round pick. Okay, y'all know how they be on the NFL first draft pick. Baby, you finna be first draft pick because the first they going to go to the back of the line. But see, the back of the line finna go to the front of the line. 
and I put up a picture and it had a whole line of people, y'all. And I looked at the last person at that line. I said, my God, I said, the very last person, you finna turn it around, God. So the last person finna be first and the first person finna go to the bike. Okay. And I noticed, y'all, I'm telling you, I had to rump this thing. And it did something to me. I said, I've always been second. I ain't, let me tell you, I ain't even been second. I'd be last result. Well, I guess, you know, I, I did with her because yeah, it's just something to do. No, no. You ain't nobody rebound person. And it's for the men, too. You ain't nobody rebound. Man, you ain't, ladies, y'all ain't nobody rebound woman. You ain't last pick. Okay, you you ain't no leftovers. You ain't picked over. Okay, you might have been picked over all your life, but God say that's about to change. Okay, it's all about to change. Them breakthroughs, some unexpected blessings, the miracles are coming. You finna be last. Seem like everybody else out here getting breakthroughs. Everybody else out here getting blessed. Everybody else getting the abundance of God. And you just keep going and you keep pushing and you keep striving. You just going. And everybody else around you getting blessed. But I come to tell you today that God say that you finna be first. You finna be at the front of the line. And when he told me that today... Man, I had to take off running, but I had to come on here real quick and encourage somebody that the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Okay, God ain't forgot about you. You finna be in the front of the line. You finna get your unexpected blessing. You finna get your breakthrough. You finna get your miracle, whatever you been praying and you been been going to God before God for, and you've been asking him, but you've been staying consistent. You've been working in purpose. You've been doing the work of the Lord. You've been doing what God told you to do. Guess what? He finna reward you for that. He fits it to reward you for that. You understand what I'm saying? When I went today and I had to go talk to the bank lady and I mean that, who God, I mean, when when you it y'all let me tell you something. When you get on the winning team, the winner circle. When you step inside the winner circle and you get on the winning team, let me tell you something. That favor gonna follow you everywhere you go. I'm telling you, favor will follow you everywhere you go. You you go in there, you go in there with a positive attitude because I had something to work out for me today. I didn't think it was going to work out for me but God. And I knew it wasn't nobody but God. But it just said well, how, how it worked out. It just how it just went so smooth. Like I just glided on through it. Like it was no problem. I wasn't nervous about it. I didn't say nothing about it. It just went on through the process. It was so, and what, and what's so amazing, I have gained, I'm going to gain another sister. That was the most amazing thing. See, we got to know how this thing work, y'all. See, we will think that it's supposed to go one way, but God says it's going to go a different way. See, let me tell you something. Just because this plan didn't work out, that don't mean the rest of them ain't going to work out. Just because this door closed, that don't mean that door over there going to close. That door over there open for you. Oh, you just got to go over there and walk toward and walk through the door. You understand what I'm saying? Just because they said no, that don't mean they going to say no over there. Come on now. Just because, well, no, no, man, we can't help you. Go on over there and do and have faith. Because I'm going to tell you something. Well, God be taking you and sending you, he sent you for a reason. And today where I went, it was for a reason. Because I tell God every day, every single time, God use me however and whenever. God have your way. And I'm going to tell you something that's contagious. When you tell God to take over your life and use, use you however and whenever, you better get ready. Because he going to use you. He going to use you. You will be praying, God, just use me. How can I bless somebody today? What you want me to do? You better be careful. You better be careful with what you're saying. Because I'm going to tell you something. God going to use you. He going to put you in a spot where you don't think you're supposed to be at. He going to put you in a place where you, I don't I don't belong. I really don't. You think you don't belong there, but you there for a reason. And where I went today, I fell right in, baby. And when I went in there and I began to talk, I said, God, I know why you did what you did. I said, because it was ordained for me to be there. I needed to be there because she needed to hear something I had to say. I had something that she needed. She had something I needed, and I had something she needed, baby. And y'all, y'all talking about an awesome time. I'm telling you, God is good, y'all. 
but you got to get yourself in purpose. You got to be in purpose every single day. You can't give up, okay? And I'm going to tell you something else. When you tell God to put you in the uncomfortable, you better know what you're talking about. Because I'm going to tell you, so sometimes you're going to be uncomfortable. But what I have learned in your uncomfortable season and you being uncomfortable, hmm, baby, unexpected blessings, unexpected miracles, okay? Breakthroughs prosperity it be coming your way but guess what you had to do you had to get uncomfortable first to get done you got to get uncomfortable first see i don't find something out y'all i don't know about y'all but i don't find something out when you comfortable you feel like you got it going on you feel like oh i'm at my highest level i'm gonna be at i'm i'm comfortable in this and i'm comfortable in that and you you just average you average. And my boy E.T. Eric Thomas say he allergic to average. <laughs> he is allergic to average. So guess what? I'm getting allergic to average too because I ain't average Joe no more. He's allergic to average. And he and I he explained why he was allergic to average. And I say, yeah, I'm allergic to average. So you better get allergic to average because guess what? You comfortable, you average, you all right with him. I done, I done made this kind of money right here. I don't think I need to do that. Do you, what millionaire you know, what billionaire you know that's comfortable with average? I, I don't know none. The more and more that I study billionaire, millionaire mindsets, mm -mm. they did some, they, they did, they went to the extreme. They were uncomfortable. They did some stuff that could, they were like, nah, I'm gonna have to, I know I'm gonna have to step out. They gonna, they had to step out on the boat like Peter. Okay, they had to be water walkers in order to become billionaires. They had to become a water walker. They had to step out on faith, show sure enough. But see, we don't want to do that because we want to, ooh, we want to be in the boat. We want to be comfortable. Ooh, we're going to stay in the boat. I ain't, I ain't getting out there on that water. I'm scared to walk. Jesus, I can't swim. I, I can't get out there. But when Jesus, the one when he got Peter and got him up out the water. Don't you, if he went and got Peter, don't you think he'll pick, get you up out the water? Because you might get out there. You might get out there. And your eyes might get off Jesus. And you might begin to sink. And you might sink a little bit. But you ain't going to stay down there. He going to pick you right back up. And the important thing is to do is get back up and try it again. Don't run back to the boat. You running back to the boat. You might be way out there. You may be too far to go back to the boat. You may be closer to your breakthrough than you think. You might be closer to that unexpected blessing than you think. You might even be closer to that miracle. You are closer than you think. Why would you go all the way back to the boat when you right there at your miracle? You, you're right there. Why would you give up right there and run back to the boat? No, don't run back. Don't run back. It's like one of my, uh, my sister, Coach Rico, said, you done been CC'd already. That mean they already done hit send on you. You can't go by it. You know how you send an email off and you might have forgot to put something in the email like, dog, I forgot to put that in the email. You got to hurry up and send them another email because you can't get that email back. You already been sent, baby. And if you already be sent, ain't no need of you going by it. How, how, why would you go by it? Why? You right there at it. You are right there at it. So don't, don't turn around. Don't be comfortable in this season. It's time to get uncomfortable. Mm-mm. Don't be get. I'm just comfortable how I am. Okay, and you're going to stay right there. You ain't going to move not another inch. You ain't going to grow not a, another inch. Your money, your finances, nothing else, your mindset ain't going to grow because you done put a cap on it. Okay, you, well, I done capped out. That's me. I, I, I'm all right where I'm at. But then, yeah, and it's still it, behind the closed doors. You still looking at everybody else. They climbing the ladder, but you chose to stop. It ain't nobody's fault but yours because you the one say you was comfortable. You the one said, well, I mean, I, I, I think I got enough money. I, I ain't going to need no more money. I, I'm good. I ain't finna do this and that. So you you comfortable with the lifestyle. You comfortable in your little lifestyle. But then you sitting over there looking at Joanne and them and they still climbing up. You sit like, 
Now they going up the ladder. They going up the ladder, honey. They, they doing this and that, but it's your fault. Ain't nobody say you had to be average. You said you had, you were comfortable with average. You say you was comfortable. No, baby. It's time to get uncomfortable. It's time to get uncomfortable. So you can get what God got for you, all right? But I just want to come on here and encourage somebody that don't worry about it, okay? If you been last all your life, baby, I'm telling you, this is the season where you finna be first in line. You finna be the first one in line. It finna turn it around. It finna switch around for you, all right? I love you guys so much. I thank y'all for all y'all support. Y'all have a blessed, wonderful, safe, prosperous day. This has been Candace E. Brown, your certified life coach, your motivational speaker. I will check in with you guys next time.